Hey, this is Anthony at the Revs. You can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dianase Delta 3 pants available at Revzilla.com. This is the new Delta 3, replacing the Delta Pro C2, which we saw updated in 2014. Now, the bulk of the updates make us very happy. We're looking at a pant, sub $500, full race grade cowhide, allowing you to have great protection on your lower half, marry it with a racing three or the top half of a two-piece race suit. Again, big changes here. They've eliminated bulk from the knees. They've added more stretch in the crotch. Again, they've, uh, they've refine the styling and the look. And one of the biggest things that jumped out at us is they're now giving you CE level two hip armor, which is non-removable, it's integrated, it comes stock. I will call this out though, if you're looking to say, wow, that's a great aggressive pant, it's not gonna break my budget. It is super premium. There is one big thing we took away from the evaluation of the Delta Pro, going into 2018 that kind of stuck in our crawl. And that is the fact that the previous versions of this pant had a double layer of leather in the seat, which we look at as a fundamental when you're getting to the track. The new Delta three has one layer of leather in the seat. And to us, that was like the, oh, there's so many things that are great about this pant. It looks great. Four colors, perf version, non-perf version. You have shorts and talls in some of the colors. Ultimately, it's extremely well executed, but to not have that secondary leather layer of leather in the seat, it's just one of those things that may or may not keep you up at night if you're gonna stretch this into a track day pant. Keep that in mind. Now, at the end of the day, if we think about the lineage of Dianese, for less than $100 more, you can step up to D-skin leather that gets you also a second la layer of leather in the seat, that's hard to say, with the Misano pants. So again, it's not like you have to spend $300 more to go there. But ultimately, we love this pant. This pant has been around, it has a race lineage, it has a track day lineage. We love all the changes, except for Dianese on the fly. If you can find it in your hearts, give me a secondary layer in the seat, and I'll make a deal with you. I'll reshoot the entire video, because at that stage of the game, we'd be falling in love with what they've done here with the new Delta Pro 3. Ultimately, sport, street, lightweight track day, but it's, we're not gonna call it a full race pant because of that omission. Now, quick note on sizing. You can't see Hive as Brian, I swear to God it's him. We don't have a body double for him. It is Hive as Brian. Six foot, 195, 42 inch chest, 35 inch belly button waist, and a 33 inch jeans waist. He's wearing a size 52. And remember, some of the colors for the Delta Pro 3 come in shorts and talls. So you can adjust that waist to inseam length and ratio if you wanna go that way. The biggest thing I'm gonna call out with these fits though, is if you wore the previous version of the Delta, which would have been the Delta Pro C2, it didn't have the bulkier hip armor. And we like the bulkier CE level two hip armor. It's flexible, it's comfortable, it does its job. But ultimately, if you're one of those guys that has a little bit more room in the hips, a little bit more, carrying a little bit more girth there, this pant will become a little bit more snug as you work your way into the hips because of the addition of the non-removable hip armor. So keep that in mind, use the size chart, delve into the shorts and talls if you like. You can always call us for help if you want us to walk through it. There is a science behind it, but ultimately you can figure it out, I promise. And remember, ship free over 39 bucks, and I'd love to click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new Delta Pro 3. Now, if we look at the Delta Pro 3, let's start with the top and work our way down. This is 2-2 cowhide. It is race grade, it is safety stitch. We like it from that aspect. Notice it has that scalloping towards the top, that cutaway makes it more comfortable when you're riding in it. It's a low profile waist. Brian, I'm not gonna touch you there, but that should be a slide, I believe. It's just a snap. So again, docking it some points there for not giving it a slide. A slide and a snap's gonna work a little better. Off the top of my head, I said, I think it's a slide, but it is a snap. I do like the fact that they fully integrated on the side here, the non-need for any kind of belt. You have self-adjusters, you have your 270 degree zipper, and you work down through the yoke into the crotch, you're gonna see more elasticated stretch panel, the S1 stretch, which breathes, it goes down all the way to the inside of the leg, allows better range of motion, and allows some airflow there which is a nice touch. I've also talked about these elasticated panels at the tops of the knees. They are going to be a little bit more lightweight, a little bit less bulky, better range of motion. They blacked out the sliders for this iteration of the pant. And again, with Dianese, you're getting composite knee and shin. It starts here and goes all the way down. It's like catcher's gear, it streamlines, it tapers down to the tibia, all the way down to the ankle. It is a nice touch. The other thing I neglected to call out, I can't believe I missed it earlier in the video, is if we look here, this is suit to boot. The previous Delta Pro C2 did not have suit to boot, so that means you can buy any of the in boots 
from Dainese that have that Velcro attachment, just like Valentino Rossi, and you can actually wear the boot on the inside of your race suit if you like now with the Delta Pro 3 versus the previous version that you could not do that with. Now, Brian, turn that leg out for me a little bit. There you go. I want to give one more shot of the inside, the medial side here as it works its way into the boot. Now, turn the face away from me. I want to give a side profile here. Show that composite armor. You can see that area. Big Dionese logo. Remember, four different colors here. And again, as you work your way into the side, pop a reflection would have been nice here. You do have a pop a reflection in the back, which is great. But knowing that this is more of a street sport oriented pants versus a full hardcore race pant, one more pop of reflectivity on either side is going to do a little bit of a better job of allowing you to be seen at night. Turn backwards for me. Now, as we look at the back here, we've already talked about the seat. No tailbone protection, single layer of leather. Again, I'm going to have to get over it, but it is the way it is. Up here towards the top, nice high waist. It's going to have fleece on the inside there, help you with wicking. Notice the backs of the knees all the way down. You're going to see that breathable S1 stretch material. And on the back here, you have two zippers. You have an expansion zipper and an entry and an exit zipper. There's your expansion zipper. Again, if you're wearing it suit to boot, if you have bigger calves, and there's your in and out zipper. And ultimately, if we look at it here, non-removable inner sanitized lining, and I will call this out too. It's not the end of the world for me, but this used to be finished leather and now it's a raw cut finish there. So again, just changes the style, changes the finishes, changes the look of the pant. Come back around to the front for me. So all in, lots of technology changes, lighter weight, more stretch, better armor. Again, taking this pant to the next level and staying sub $500. You heard me gripe about the seat. I'll get over it. Much more concerned about the seat than I am about the reflection. Again, Dianese, the offer stands. I'll reshoot the video. Show me a pant that has two, la two layers of leather and you'll win the bet with Buzzsaw, $6 gentleman's bet because he thinks he won't do it. But that's fine. I love Buzzsaw, but we have to be realistic about production timelines. Next step in your journey is to click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device. This is the product detail page at RevZilla.com. Read other ride reviews about our Delta Pro 3. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for over 38 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detail breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at RevZilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion of the latest and greatest in the Moto Universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.